empathy. Sometimes people say, you vegans think about them too much. You need to stop thinking about them. You need to focus on other things. But do we really? Are you sure about that? And tell me, how would you feel if you were the one with a tag in your ear? Terrified, being forced to walk down a narrow, blood-stained hall and sentenced to death for the mere crime of being born into a body different from yours. Never having committed a single crime, soon the only thing that will be left of you is that tag, a memory of you being just a number. But you weren't a number. You were never a number. You were a sentient being with a personality, a family, and a desire to live. The Holocaust never ended for the animals. It's still going on right now. And everyone, Germans, Jews, and hundreds of other groups all over the world who swore that what happened in World War II was wrong and should never happen again, are they themselves still partaking in it on a daily basis. But not just that. Dark people, who hated that their ancestors were enslaved, have learned nothing about fairness and compassion. They, too, continue to order body parts in a bucket and think nothing of the limp flesh having come from a lifetime of suffering on factory farms. And women, mothers, and grandmothers who have been themselves pinned down and assaulted and penetrated? Are they different? No. Like the others, they cry about being the victim while paying for the act to continue to happen to females each time they buy milk, cheese, yogurt, and ice cream. And the LGBTQ community? And nurses? And teachers? and so-called therapists or religious people who get on their knees and worship a god that doesn't exist? Are they different? Surely they must be in touch with their emotions and sensitive to the issues of freedom and lack of bullying, right? Wrong. You want to know where you would have stood back in time when the Jews were being carted away on trucks? Look no further than what you put in your shopping cart just this past week. To the animals, we are all Nazis. We, vegan activists, are all the animals have. These trillions of innocent animal victims. We are the only hope they have to get their message out, to tell their stories, and to make sure they're not forgotten. They don't have cell phones and iPads and the ability to speak in order to communicate with us because they are stuck. We must start to view these animal victims as if they are children and defend them accordingly to ensure that the Holocaust ends once and for all. Every gas chamber on the planet should be immediately deconstructed and the breeding of new victims must also cease without fail. Let's be clear. So there's no misunderstanding. We don't want animals to just be treated better while they are in prison and while they are being murdered. We want them to not be imprisoned in the first place and not murdered at all. People wonder about heaven and hell, but those places are not in some distant future. They are here, right now. We create them with each choice we make. So ask not what the world can do for you, but look outward. Go towards the pain. Ask what you can do to help, to relieve the desperate suffering of others. True generosity involves helping those who will never know where the love came from. If you succeed in helping the innocent animals who will never be able to thank you, you will have done your duty here on earth.
If you felt something and you really want to change, subscribe and press the notification bell and help me get these animals out of hell. Thank you.